In Lord of the Bins, you compete with other players to emerge as the one true trash lord. You must collect different trash items from the marketplace and segregate them into their respective bins. There are four categories of trash or bin cards in the game. Wet waste, dry waste, hazardous and sanitary waste, and electronic waste. The different trash items in the game are shown as trash cards. Trash cards are numbered 1 to 9 with doubles of cards numbered 4 to 9. So, each bin card has 15 trash cards that are exclusively linked with it. These trash cards can be thrown into these bins only. There are 8 trump trash cards which are special cards that can be placed into any bin. Last, there are 25 yellow gems and 6 green gems. The gems allow players to perform powerful actions during the game. First, segregate the trash cards numbered 1 to 9 and the doubles numbered 4 to 9 for each bin. Shuffle each of them separately. Next, keep 8 trump trash cards aside. Now, depending on the number of players, create your main deck as follows. For 2 to 3 players, use all 36 trash cards. Take 6 doubles and 8 trump trash cards and add it to the main deck. For 4 to 6 players, use all 36 trash cards. Take 12 doubles and 8 trump trash cards and add it to the main deck. Place the 4 trash bin cards on the left of the playing area. Deal 3 cards to each player. These are their hand cards. Open a card from the deck and place it in its respective bin. This is the key card. Place the key card token on it. The first card played in the other bins must begin with the same number as the key card. Open two cards from the main deck and place them face up next to it. This is the marketplace. Put all the gems in the bag and shake it well. Keep it next to the marketplace within reach of all players. Keep the reference sheet with the gem actions section facing up. Keep the raccoon hat next to it. That's the setup. Let's play. The goal of the game is to drop the trash cards you collect into the correct bins. However, there is a limit of 6 trash cards per bin. So, you must drop the trash cards with you before other players do so. You can also collect trash gems to play special actions and help you win. Once all the bins are filled up, the sum of the cards that remain with you is your final score. The player with the lowest score wins the game. Your turn is split into two phases, the pick phase and the play phase. The pick phase. In this phase, you pick cards from the marketplace and add it to your hand cards. You can either pick one of the open cards or pick both the open cards or pick the top card from the deck. If you picked one of the open cards, then take a gem without looking from the bag and place it on the card you didn't pick. If you pick the top card from the deck, then place a gem without looking on both the open cards in the marketplace. If you picked both the open cards in the marketplace, then you place no gems. When you pick a card which already has gems on it, then you get the gems along with the card. Replace the same number of cards you picked from the top of the deck in the marketplace. The marketplace must always have two open cards for players to pick, unless they aren't enough cards. If there are no cards left in the marketplace to pick, skip this phase and directly go to the play phase. In this phase, you can either play one card or play special actions using gems or skip and do nothing. You cannot perform two different actions. For example, play one card then play a special action using a trash gem. However, you can use up 
any number of gems you already have and play all the special actions one at a time. Playing a card. When playing a trash card, you must drop it in the bin it belongs, play it in the number sequence and not randomly out of order. For example, you can play number 4 only if number 3 or number 5 have been played. You cannot play number 7 as number 6 or number 8 haven't been played. You can play a trash card on top of another, that is, by using its double. When you play a trash card on another, then you must ensure the cards belong to the same bin, the cards have the same number, the card you are playing it on does not have a trump trash card already on it. If you are playing the first card in a new bin, then you must play the same number card as the key card only. Then players can play cards in sequence, before, after or as a double. Trump Trash Cards Trump trash cards are played just like any other trash cards. However, they have a big advantage. You can play them into any bin or as any number. Also, players cannot play a trash card on top of a trump trash card unless they use a gem. Once a trump trash card is played, it acts as the number it is played in place of. For example, if you play a trump trash card after number 5, then players can play number 7 as the trump trash card behaves as the number 6. There are two types of gems in the game, yellow gem and green. You can play any number of special actions in a turn, as long as you give up gems for each action. The gem actions are as follows. Refer to the rule book to know what these actions mean. When you play a yellow gem, put it back into the bag. However, when you play a green gem, place it on the card you played. When a card has a gem on it, you cannot add doubles on it without paying a green gem. When you have completed the pick phase and the play phase, your turn ends. Remember, the pick phase is compulsory unless the marketplace is empty. The play phase is optional and you can skip it if you want. Challenging an opponent if you think a player has played a trash card incorrectly oh. in a bin, then you can challenge them. When this happens, the trash reference sheet is opened to see if the card played is correct or not. If it is correct, then the player wins, else the challenger wins. The loser of the challenge must wear the raccoon hat and mimic any animal that eats trash. Players can use the reference sheet at any time during the game. However, they must wear the raccoon hat and mimic any animal that eats trash before they do so. On your turn, you first pick cards and then play a card or gems. The goal of the game is to get rid of the high numbered trash cards you collect into their respective bins before they get full. Each bin can hold a maximum of 6 trash cards in a number sequence. For example, 1 to 6 or 2 to 7, etc. Then they are full. Once a bin is full, you cannot place any cards outside of the sequence in it. You may, however, play doubles on already played cards. The numbers are cyclic, so 1 and 9 are also in sequence. For example, you can play number 1 card if number 2 or number 9 have been played. Similarly, you can play number 9 if number 8 or number 1 have been played. Hence, numbers 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3 form a sequence of 6 that will fill up a bin. You can play special actions using gems to strategically benefit yourself or affect opponents. The game ends when the marketplace is empty and all the players skip their turn 
or do not perform any action. The player with the lowest total score, that is, sum of all their hand cards, wins the game. <laughs>